So I was walking around the woodworking in America with Jack Howling, and the whole time I had specific items in my head that I wanted to buy. And one of them was an awl. And it seems like such a simple thing. Use it to make a mark in the wood. Nothing complicated, right? But for some reason, everyone that I found at the, at the show was $50, $60, 70 $80. And I thought, this is crazy. $80 for, a, for a, a basically a pointy metal stick. And uh, Jack Howling says, why don't you just make one? So that's what I did. And uh, I'm going to show you how I made it in this video. So I started by setting up the table saw so I could cut the walnut sections to make the blank. And I set it up for about, uh, for about 8 or 10 inches and put a stop block. And that's just to keep the section from binding between the fence and the blade. So I just clamped that in place. And cut off two sections. They're fairly flat. Okay, now that I've got the uh, two pieces of the walnut cut, the faces are pretty good. But uh, I'm gonna throw them on the joiner real quick just to flatten them up, and that way we'll have a perfect joint when we go to glue these together. So I joined uh, one side of each block, and I used the bed of the joiner just to check them and see if they were flat. And I took one or two really small passes at about one thirty-second of an inch to get them to join up nice. And you see there's good tight fit with no gaps. And I gotta glue it up. And I just use tight bond too. Just spray it out evenly. And for some reason with clamps, I'm just clumsy. So what should be very simple and easy takes me twice as long. So I shorten the video so you don't have to sit there and watch me fumble around with clamps. Just wipe off the uh, the excess glue, set it aside, and let it dry. Now it's dry. I was squaring up the stock, make it fairly square. It's easier to find the center on it. So I started by uh, turning it into a uniform cylinder, getting all the flat spots turned down. So now. If Round all the way around. Round all the way around, yeah. <laughs> now obviously this is more than I needed, but I turned extra just in case. Then I used my detail tool as a parting tool to start parting the sections in half. So the part closest to the chuck will be the part that I'll keep and use. So we'll start turning down the tenon, and there's going to be a ferrule that goes over that. And the ferrule, all the ferrule is, is a half-inch copper pipe cap that I've drilled a hole in the end, and that's what will slip over this tenon and act as a ferrule. You gotta go a little bit, little bit by little bit just to fit it on there correctly. Oh. And guess what? I turned it too small. <laughs> so let's start all over. It's okay, there's enough material to cut that off and start over again. Just be a little more careful this time. And it fits. And it's a fairly snug fit, which is what I need. And I start shaping the actual handle. 
I just kind of went for a general kind of upside down egg shape. Pretty much what most dolls look like. Nothing too fancy. And again, I used that detailing tool kind of as a parting tool. Now I'm sanding, uh, started with some fairly rough grit, 200, 220, some, something around that. And then those sanding sponges are great because uh, you can keep a set of those at various grits and they're great for, for sanding uh, round objects on the lathe. There you go. Then I used my little sanding station to sand down that little nub that was left over when I when I cut it away from the from the stock that was still in the chuck. And drilling a hole for the for the awl itself, the metal. And all this is just a framing nail and I, uh, I sharpened it with a file and then I just use a little bit of Danish oil and I really like the way the Danish oil makes the walnut look darkens it kind of makes the grain pop out it's really nice so I put it on heavy and let it kind of soak in and then after about an hour rubbed it with a clean paper towel and there's the final final all so thanks for watching please like and subscribe